I'm on part two now of my milling machine quill adjustment and upgrade. I explained in part one how, how I'd, uh, my milling machine had had, whoever had had it in the past, and I've had it for 12 years, but whoever ever had it in the past did a modification and did a bit of a bodge job on it really. And I explained in part one why I couldn't get my quill adjusted to take the backlash out. So this, I'm in part two now, so I'm going to make some new new bronze bushes and start from scratch with this mechanism. But before I, before I do, I'll just show you this old bushing lathe uh, and how I determined, how I determined um, why it won't adjust him properly. Sorry, I'm just moving camera to get to the lathe. So I've set this bush up in the lathe and uh, the offset of the bush to adjust the quill is approximately 60 to 65 thou. And then the same, the similar bush on the other side of the mill is only got 50 thou offset. And what's happening is that offset, whoever's made these bushes, and by the way they made them in steel instead of bronze, uh, whoever made the bushes has not give it enough offset. Just bring camera back to steady it. So they've not made enough offset in these bushes to get the quill adjusted properly to take all the backlash out. And then on top of that, they've they've not got this flange running through on this bush either. If I just start lathe up, you might see it on lathe. It's 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 wobbling all over the place. And the reason for that is. Um, they've made the bush in two parts instead of making it all in one. They've just they've just pinned a flange onto the bush. They've made it in steel, and it should be in bronze. So I'm starting from scratch, and in part one I explain what we're going to do. So I've now made them bushes, and I've done them in in phosphor bronze. And I've designed them so they can rotate on the shaft and and be be fastened to give you a fine adjustment to get your quill adjusted properly. So I'll just take camera over to bushes now before I assemble it back together and explain to you what what I've done. Right. So is is the old uh, offset bushes? that somebody made in the past in, in the milling machine's past life and uh, they're only giving me 65 thou and 50 thou offset so and you can't adjust them anyway so what I've done I've took some measurements in my quill and I've, I've found out that I need 100 thou offset and what I've, what, how I've designed this now so, uh, to make it adjustable is I've made this bush with a hundred thou offset, same on both sides, and uh, I've put a groove in the in the bush, and I've made this steel flange that this bush fits into and traps the bush like that so that's now going to go into the into the casting of the milling machine now this bush is, as I've just explained it's got a groove in it I've machined a groove in and I've put a a grub screw in the flange to correspond with that groove so that when it's flange and in position I can rotate the bush to any position and then lock it with a grub screw and then because when it when it's in the machine and it's on the shaft everything's a little bit a bit on tight side um, I've put two holes in 
and what I've done, I've uh, I've utilised my gr my portable grinder uh, tool, which which I use for changing grinding wheel, and I've utilised that to 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 be able to put this spanner in and, and adjust it when it once it's in machine, and get some fine adjustment on that offset, and then put my grub screw in and, and peg it. So it, so it's got the proper adjustment, and then uh, where where before it somebody put this this pin in, um, and it should have had a keyway. I'm doing away with that pin and going back to back to standard, so that the handle on on the fine feed is horizontal instead of at an angle like I shown you in part one. So that's where I'm up to, and I've done two. I've done both sides now. Um, so now it's it's really ready for being assembled and putting back together. So I'll just adjust the camera and uh, start to put it back together and explain to you what I'm doing. Right. So first of all, shaft goes through, and then the the this the right hand side bush fits on. Cameras in way. Like that. And then the other side, same again, it's got an offset, 100 thou offset. That will go in this side. Right, so. I've got the, the two bushes fitted on both sides now and what I've done I've started afresh with the I've filled the, all, all the holes in the casting and done away with the holes and I've, I've, I've drilled three new holes to take these three screws and these three screws will, will now fix this steel flange to, to, the, uh, to the casting like that so I'll not bore you with screwing screws and I'll just do that off camera. Right, I've, I've got the screws in both sides now. So what happens now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust, use, use this uh, spanner from my grinder that, that I've made to adapt to fit this bush here in them two holes. And now loosen this grub screw off which locates in that uh, groove in that bra in that bronze bush, and I'm just adjusting it slightly now, and tightening it off. And same on the other side. And then just trying. I've put this handle back on temporarily without all mechanism, and just trying it till I get this this backlash out. And at the moment, oh, I think I've done it. I think I've I would guess that. It's a bit tight because it wants bedding in again, this bush, but once it's bedded in, it'll be okay. And then I'm just feeling for backlash here. And now before, I was getting 30 to 40 thou backlash in quill. And and now, it's it's all gone now. There's nothing, not even a thou. Now I may just have to do some little fine tweaks so I get it running nice and freely. But you've got the idea there. So I'm using this spanner. I've put two holes in the bush and that bronze bush now rotates independently to this flange once this grub screw's loosened. And then that offset then pushes your, your shaft into rack of the uh, the quill. And eliminates all that bite lash, and then you adjust both sides same um, till you've got it till you've got all, well as much as bite lash out as you can. I mean, at the moment, looking on on me on me uh, DRO here, I can probably just move it a thou, maybe not even that. Uh, so now I've just got to refit 
um, my fine feed mechanism and put it back to standard which is horizontal to the machine and reuse this original keyway that should have been used instead of this bodged hole here that somebody's done so I'll just fit that to fit that back on right so I've, I've, I've removed that handle put on temporarily and then we're going to go back to original mechanism now it should how it should have been done how it should have been done from original so this is fine feed gear with that ratchet engagement system there and then I've made this key this key to fit in here but before that fits in you put this spring on right I just had to get that spring on off camera because I couldn't reach with both hands to, to compress it so that spring fits on the other side of the key there and then uh, my ratchet, it's not a ratchet, but it's like a ratchet uh, profile, if you like. That goes onto that key to engage my fine feed or disengage it. So, where's my other handle gone? There we are. So, this handle's for to, to engage that and disengage it. like so and then me uh, this is me, me handle for, for drilling that goes on next when I can start it very awkward to to do it while cameras in way So I've got this, uh, I've got my drilling handle fitted back on and, and, and fixed. And that's that's it working now perfectly with no backlash in that quill. Now what I'm going to do now is I've just got to fit me, I've just got to fit this uh, fine feed mechanism. Now I may have to do a bit of work on this in the future so I can get some proper adjustment on this. But just for now... I'm, I'm going back to original position where it should be in them two screws which is horizontal uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going back to standard with this and I'm going to block them two holes up that somebody's drilled in casting so I'll just fit you this off camera to save boring you right I've got my five feet mechanism fitted now. I don't know if you can quite see that. I'm just going to move camera a little bit. Right. I've got my five feet mechanism fitted back on to, to the original holes where it, where it should be. I shall blank them off now and, and touch them up with a bit of paint. And I've got my mechanism now look working nice and free. And no backlash ink quill and then uh, if you if you do have to adjust it in, in future you just have to release your mechanism here on your fine feed to get this gear out to get this um, to get this adjust adjusting spanner in which is no big deal but like I did, like I did, I set it with all this mechanism off, just using my drilling handle, and it seems to be working fine now. That it's not too stiff at all. That now, and I, I can perhaps just get one thou play on, if that, maybe only half a thou. Uh, so I'll just show you the other side. So this side here is exactly the same. It's got this bronze bush in, which is in inside this steel flange with that groove in. I've got it adjusted, and now I've just got to 
fasten that grub screw up just to lock that bronze bush with its offset in, the, in that position. So I've locked that grub screw off now and what I've done on this on this uh, bronze bush and this steel flange I've scribed some lines on now so that if I ever take it to pieces I can pick pick it up again straight away to get my adjustment right. And there's no no play really at all in that now. Uh, so what I've got to do now then, I've just got to fit my return spring back on. Like that. And then just tighten this spring up to get my tension. And put my two nuts on. And uh, that's it, job done. So, uh, that's complete now then, that, uh, that adjustment. Oh, and I've just got to put my, my locking mechanism back on for me, for me quill. That, that's just an, an handle that fits there. So that's everything done now. Uh, it's only took me ten years to do that. <coughs> So I'll just continue now, we're doing a few other jobs I've got to do to upgrade it. I've got my DRO fitted, I've got my quill adjusted and, and uh, modified back to standard. Um, and I'll just show you this before I leave you. The fine feed mechanism is held on with them two bolts and there's no adjustment on that really. And it works fine now, but it, if you can see this backlash here in my, in my dial, it's got quite a bit of backlash in this in this worm worm here in this worm gear. So what I'm going to do with uh, another project for the future, um, I'm going to take this off, and like this has got offset bushes in it, I'm going to sorry caught camera again, limited for space. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to modify this and put two eccentric bushes in each end so I can adjust this to get this, this worm gear meshed and take as much backlash out as I can. But that will be another project for the future. Because it has got quite a lot of backlash in. So that's where I'm up to then. So thanks for watching and... Uh, catch me on my next project. If you haven't seen my other videos, have a look at them. Thanks a lot.